Hi, this is Paula Glory, and this show is called Farther Down the Rabbit Hole. Today I'm in the beautiful garden of Robin Gibbons, and we have Robin joining us. Hi, Robin. Paula, how are you doing? <laughs> Just great. I, I was interested in talking to you because you've had a lot of different experiences, and in particular, you tuned into an experience that I tried many years ago, which is called Agni Hotra. And on this TV show, what I try to do is create connections of empathy so that different cultures understand each other better. And this practice that I'm going to have you talk about in any way you want is something that I never expected a teamster, somebody, <laughs> somebody in the union, would practice. And so maybe you could start off just giving a little thumbnail sketch first of uh, what got what got you to where you are now, and then we'll go more into the Agni Hotra ceremony. That's well, the first one I ever did was with you. Right. I no, know. but I mean, being a teamster. What can you just give a thumbnail oh, sketch of, your, of your history, where you were born, and you know how you grew up, and like that. Oh gosh, um, I was born in Perry, Florida. In Florida. Let me get yeah. a little closer so we hear you. Uh huh. Um, you didn't have any union people in your family, though, oh, did you? Oh, good lord, no. 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 Your dad was a politician, wasn't mm -hmm. he? He was a state senator. Uh -huh. I forget for how many terms. I guess for like 12 years, maybe. So you grew up in that kind of fast-paced atmosphere, right? You'd go with him on campaign? Sure. With him on campaigns? Yeah, and hit the campaign trail. I was just a little rug rat in the beginning. Uh-huh. Grew up and ended up being a page in the Senate chambers. It was in session three months every, I think it was every year, oh, or really? every other year. Well, I didn't yeah. know you were that into it. Well. To be a page and, you know. Yeah. You got to skip school. Not really, you got your school assignment. Uh -huh. All the pages, you know, from all over the state got their school assignments. They were, you know, Usually their family was in the legislature. And we all went to Votech school every night. Really? And did our assignments that you know, our teachers had sent from home. Ah. Yeah. God, I haven't thought about that in ages. Well, what I'm trying to do is show a uh, practical benefit to uh, nature-based practices from different cultures. Uh, as, yes, so that you may have started off as a politician's daughter and you had certain experiences that way. Uh, probably your father, being a senator, was very concerned about unions. Wouldn't he have been? Or were you? Were you Not ever? in the counties. I think he, uh, his district had ten counties, uh -huh. and I don't. Shoot, probably the largest business was a Procter and Gamble pulp wood mill in the town we grew up in. I'm trying to think what other the what the other counties, what big business there was, and that was probably the biggest. There were small mm -hmm. sawmills, uh, a lot of, um, let's say, pulpwood trucks. So what would entail pulp, pulpwood trucks? People with jobs, though, right? Labor that, I mean, businesses yes, that would support Yes, but not organized jobs. in the sense of unions at uh -huh. all. Gosh, I not, can't remember the first time I ever heard that word, but it was, certainly it was, had to be well into adulthood. But but what with but what with it. life's vicissitudes and rises and falls of fortune, when you went back to work you probably valued those that would protect the workers more than you did from I was such a double edged sword. I guess I'm so jaded because uh, our current president is Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> the son of <laughs> uh -huh. and we're all we're about to go into negotiations with the new Oh, contract. by the way, you're with UPS. I'll get your, your T-shirt there. <laughs> oh my God! Don't get me fired over <laughs> this. <laughs> well, no. I, what I'm trying to do is the idea of Agni Hotra is to bring balance, and in Indi in this country, I think the people who first saw benefit were farmers, people who were growing things. But since the crop is still the most important annual event, the harvest, um, you can see how. If somebody is practical, you know, they want more abundance in their land, then uh, if they do a little ceremony that we're going to talk about very soon now, and they see some 
benefit, you know, better crops and so on, then that can kind of um, infect in a good way the rest of society. And people say, wow, isn't it really good to be balanced and to try this out? Now in India, Agnihotra can become very complicated and you can have uh, very well-born members of society that are also believing in it. But here, it's like we're experimenters. You know, it's just like how Molly said, uh, what was it? Couldn't hurt, might help. <laughs> yeah. So why don't Can't you hurt, might help, so yeah. launch into what it was like the first time you witnessed the Agni Hotra? Yeah. Um, it was just a very stilling effect, I guess because I'm always doing something, you know, futzing around the house, you know, doing something. And it just, it was time to be quiet. I sat, you know, and fire always has a kind of uh, mesmerizing effect. So you always liked being by campfires, maybe? Was that oh, sure, when yeah. You were, yeah. And, you know, candlelight, dining by candlelight. Right. Well, I think there's a lot of power to the flame. Right. So. Well, what I always say is uh, I went to India t to study how Jesus did the miracles, and the master I studied with said, you need to understand the Divine Mother or the five elements, earth, air, fire, water, and ether. And so when a person sits by a fire, there's, a, there's an effect, you know, that, that you have. Yeah. And I remember the first time sitting next to you when I did it, and I thought, oh, you know, I wonder what Molly will think and what Rob, and I used to sing the little song, it's a quick little song, to Molly on the train, and I used to tell her about it, but we never had the implements. Oh, you and would then, sing the Agni Hotra. Yeah, just a little thing. And, and oh, Molly, isn't that cute? Molly's the kind of person that, you know, she doesn't forget, and then she sort of bugged me about it and I and finally we got the little implements that we're going to show later in the show when you when you do oh, that's cute and so I know for myself I always like the smell of the cow dung oh yeah D did you ever smell burning cow dung before then I have no re I'm sure I didn't know never did I was thinking today because I did go collect some fresh cow manure <laughs> that I always I always loved the smell of it dairy, a uh -huh. cow dairy, right. and it's a different smell, the manure, it's a very different smell. Right. Yeah. Well, in incense, a lot of people don't realize, but uh, the, the foundation is cow manure, and then they put fragrance oh, I in. had no idea. Yeah, and, and I think, after I started to, to, to think about it, I think what has the uh, psychophysical effect on us, I think, is the cow manure, it's not the fragrance. I think, you know, lovely fragrance is nice, you know, uh, aromatherapy is a big thing now. Sure. So you've got rosemary or lavender and they have different effects. But what was interesting to me about here in Unionville is you're, you're like horse people. Yeah. And, and Kathy, um, Molly's friend, she was a jockey. Yeah. And she described what it was like the first time. She thought Molly was a little, well, you know, <laughs> eccentric to do it. And she went along with it and then she said, wow. She felt peaceful, and it was, yeah, and that's what inspired me to, to try to collect your thoughts on it. Yeah, I guess it, it's my quiet. It brings my weekend to an end. I guess because I usually do it on Sunday evening, uh -huh. and you know, I I usually have a very busy day Sunday doing laundry. You know, just getting ready for the upcoming week, right. and it's kind of uh, it's nice. I usually just sit very quiet. And what do you think? Do it. What do you think makes it effective? Is it the burning cow manure? What is? Oh goodness! Is it um, the fire? Is it the little? The mantras are so small. I, I wouldn't imagine you started learning Sanskrit. It's funny of that <laughs> I got a little indirectly from you. You gave this literature to Molly. She passed it on to me, and it apparently it's good for your circulatory system. It's good for your garden, your home. Um. And I guess for me, it's just peace of mind. It, like I said before, it just Which quiets is me. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But I love the way that the smoke, you never know what the smoke's going to do, you know, whether there's a breeze or not. But I like it when it just kind of hangs down low. Right. Now, what would you think since you've had that experience that somebody said, oh, this is the work of the devil or it's paganism? Oh, my gosh. I just love it when people say that. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I just want to go, <laughs> whatever. I just, 
it drives me crazy. Has anyone said that, or have you? Not about the Agni Hotra, about no, other things, about other things, and that they've done, you know, a total turnaround. I went. Didn't you used to think that was the work of the devil? Oh, oh I guess like tarot cards. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just fun. Yeah. What the heck, you know? But it seems with Agni Hotra and the burning and the fire, there's something so, it connects you so much to nature. Even tarot cards or astrology is a little bit intellectual or, mm. or heady. And that's why, um, well, tell me, you were saying that you met an Indian man in your work? <laughs> Was he a Teamster too? Oh, yeah, you have really? to be a Teamster to work for UPS. Oh, yeah. t can you describe what that was like? Oh, he's such a, he's young. He came to the, I say young, he's got to be 21 to be a driver. And he's just been in our department, oh gosh, just a few months. And he's just so happy and he's, you know, it's like he's got a job and he's just such a chipper guy and he tries so hard, you know, and I go, oh, wow, have you ever done an, ag you know, do you do Agni Hotras? And he goes, what? Because he's Indian, right? You know, he oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, what? And I say, you know, you burn the cow manure. I said, you've never done an Agni Hotra, have you? He goes, no, no, I don't know what an Agni, what? No, no. <laughs> it just slays me. I mean, you know, he's from India, and yet. I know, you know, I have a lot of subscribers on YouTube from India because YouTube's free, so it's not costing oh, yeah. anything. I mean, I got one of mine that I put up that I loved a lot was a commentary on the Mahabharata. It's like their epic poem, like the Iliad or the Odyssey is to us. And all of a sudden, I started to notice hundreds of hits, and then I noticed thousands of hits. And then I started to get comments that would be left from um, some Indians from, say, England, young people, and it turns out some of them would be Brahmins, which is the priestly caste, but they said they didn't know very much about their religion. And, and they were thanking me for giving another insight. You know, even, though, even though they were the highest caste that's supposed to be responsible for knowing this. Yeah. So here you're describing an Indian man that works at UPS as a teamster, and you just sort of assumed, sure. with his Indian accent or whatever, he that he would know, and yet he might learn something from you. Right. <laughs> well, there's so many nuances to all of cultures, you know. <laughs> Who's this? Snare, my little Snare. bug rat. What do they think about it? Because it's supposed to bring peace well, to the animals. Well, they too. like to eat it, and they eat like to eat the, the manure. Dust, the, the manure? You mean so, after it's been burned? Or? No, when I'm trying to set it up so I have a little oh. thing so they can't get to it. Oh, okay. Well, and we'll then see the, that. Is it called ghee, the clarified yeah. butter that you use? Oh, they love that. So. Oh, yeah, of course they'll. Yeah. Come on. So then. it's oh, I, it's funny. It's just come second nature to keep it all out of their way. And I give them their chewy toy at that time of the day. Well, well that's the, the whole idea of a priestly caste that's responsible for this kind of knowledge is that when they do these, these, these nature-based rituals, nature becomes more in balance so that everything is happier. The plants, the animals, yeah. the fish, the people, you know. That's, that's the idea of taking that kind of time aside. You know, whatever works for you. And this just does to me. And when I'm driving around, I work it in the evening. I drive around doing pickups. And about sunset, there's this one little section. It's a very busy road. You know, with kind of strip malls and the convenience stores and gas stations. I'll smell. I know it's Cavanaugh. I just know it. And, of course, I have no idea where it's coming from because there are... You know, residences just off the road. Well, you mean it's cow manure or it's burning oh. cow manure? Burning, I'm sorry, burning, burning cow manure. Really? Yeah. I wonder what that might be. Oh, I'm sure somebody's out there doing Agni Hotra. I'm so? sure. Really? Oh, of course. Because you're sort of vibing it out, kind of, maybe? Yeah. How I, interesting. Yeah. Maybe you can so hunt people it down are someday. Out there. <laughs> well, that would be something. You, know. <laughs> you just never know. Well, let's turn it off now and we'll do an Agni Hotra. Cool. I don't know, do you think? Well, that's okay, because people might be kind of horrified anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the cow manure that, that, that you have on the drying racks, yeah, right, Robin? Yeah, the first day I've done it like this, and it was like, well, hello. And you I put them in the sun, and then at night, you cover them for the moisture. Yeah, because I'm sure the dew will set on them. And there's the sun drifting off into the, to the west, and we're going to be doing Agni Hotra soon. And it's wet, so it's quite heavy.
So here we are setting up the Agnihotra. And Robin's got the ghee there. Clarified butter. The French use it so that when they uh, fry spices, the spices taste good. Guess who shows up? Mrs. Hannum. She drove up. Yeah, and I had a night and I got a nice interview with her. Oh, isn't that something? Yeah. She is. How's she doing? She's doing great, and it, it was nice because I want, you know, I told her about creating connections of empathy with my TV show. Oh yeah. Yeah, and she loved that, you know. And the Manhattan audience, one person already told me. She's actually one of my sponsors. She'd get, she's given me a little bit of, you know, financial assistance. And she said she never liked the fox hunt. She never liked the idea of it. But when she saw Mrs. Hannum speaking about it with the hounds and the fresh air and things, she changed her mind. She, you know, and she's a shopkeeper in the East Village. Aww. So I thought that was wonderful if you can show people. You know, when, you, when, in, when somebody has a passion for something, which Mrs. Hannum does. Yeah. I mean, she loves her hounds. Mistress of the, or no, master of the yeah, hounds. Yeah, master of fox hounds. I think it, it's a gift to have a passion for something. Yeah. Did I ever tell you the story, Paul Mellon? You know, he's quite. No. I don't know if his money came from oil or whatever, very wealthy dude. Well, the melon fortune. Yeah. Yeah. Was it oil? Oh, I think it's just everything. I mean, but I think they he, said they're the power behind a lot of the presidents. Well, he, um, he, oh, he was into everything. Apparently, he contri contributed to uh, one of the Ivy League schools, the largest English sporting art collection in the United States. I mean, he didn't, he's t quite the philanthropist. Uh -huh. Say that word correctly. But he envied his wife. He said there were oh he's into race horses. He said there were as many things he liked to do, but there was nothing he truly loved to do. Really? And he said his wife has loved to garden since she was a child. Oh. And I thought, wow. I mean, you think that rich have it all? Yeah. But how basic. I mean, he's so envious of people. With a pa not envious, but he admired people with a passion. And Mrs. Hannum certainly. Oh has my it. gosh, she yes. loves those hounds and the horses, and and that's what was picked up in the East Village, in New York. Well, which, I, isn't I'd that love nice? To see that, I've never seen an interview with her. Well, I just did it, just this morning. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, but I no know. one's seen it. No, of course not. Oh, but you said some shopkeeper oh, in New no. York. I'm getting that, confused. I'm sorry. Molly Cheshire had done an interview with her a couple years ago. Oh. It was more formal. She came over into Molly's, uh, you know, vestibule there and did it. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I wish the viewer could smell this. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's a very pure smell, but... Mm. Oh, apparently the smoke, to inhale it is good for you. Yeah. It's supposed to be a medicinal cure thing. Yes. Purifying it. Again. How do you keep the time? Are you, are you accurate about I two usually, minutes? No. Or I you're usually not? Oh, you're just set my certain. timer. Oh. I don't know that. I can set it when I go. You want me to hold it while you go? Yeah. Seven. Seven minutes to countdown. <laughs> And then, we Has had the. Dad ever done an Agni Hotra? I wonder what your dad would think. He'd think we were lunatics. Covenant witches. <laughs> Tell um, Robin about the one we did in Gramercy Park. No, we didn't do it in the park. No, no, in my apartment in Gramercy Park. Mm. Listen to this. <laughs> well, we were all like geared up to do this interview with these guys that have made a documentary on how the AFL-CIO had uh, welcomed some Iraqi leaders to the States and gave them a tour as, as sort of a show of I don't know, friendship or whatever. So these two, Solidarity. I solidarity, right. Yeah. So these two 
I don't know. I mean, they weren't like really straight, but you know, one was a, a college professor, and the other one was sort of a East Village documentary filmmaker type. Jonathan Levine, I think, is Levin. Uh-huh. Is his name. And uh, so they show up right at Agni Hotra time. Yeah, sunset, sunset. You know, what and, can, what are you gonna uh, do? And, and I don't know, Paul and I were fixated on doing Agni Hotra, and so um, we said, do you mind waiting just a, a moment or two while we just do this little fire ceremony? And, you know, of course, the whole apartment fills up with smoke and... Because it's a tiny apartment, you know, Robin. And, and it's a tiny Agni Hotra, but still, you know, we are burning cow dung and... and I can't uh, believe you did it indoors. But I guess In front of people it. who are kind of strangers. Yeah, yeah, in front of people who are total strangers. And that we're, they're sort of doing us a favor in a way by, by being on the show. And um, so anyway, but the, the end results, I don't know if the two are related, was that um, Eminem shows the show constantly. Oh, my God. Yeah, because, well, we think it's because... The, what was it? What is it, Paula? The Teamsters started. Uh... Oh, well, I think it's just about the people. You know, the idea of the workers. Even though one public access producer says wealth doesn't have to be labor-based, that you know the labor-based theory of wealth means you should protect the labor. No, and I, and I think also it it gives a different face to the whole Iraqi uh, situation. You know. Oh, definitely. We just sort of think that they're all trying to kill us, or or you know, all you see is. People Bad doing people. suicide bombs and things like right. that, and these guys are, you know, engineers and you know, just regular guys and trying to, and and the, and, and the interesting thing is, I'll hold that thought, is is that unions are still illegal in Iraq, you know. Well, even, they didn't tell the viewer they were. Uh, well, they, see, here's the thing, Robin. They were illegal during Saddam Hussein. And after we came in and liberated them, they're still illegal. Yeah. So there's no unions in Iraq. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, quote, unquote, we're giving them their freedom, but we still, you know, unions are still illegal. Anyway, what, what were you going to ask? I, well, I was going to ask if you if you were going to cut and splice this at all. Not really. No? Unless you have something really egregious that you don't want to have anyone see. Well, I want to say, <laughs> <laughs> are, we're going into negotiations for our new contract. Okay, let's focus on that. I'll get my viewers to also. I mean, is this something and we're not allowed to use? Oh, gosh, no. I mean, it's on the internet. You okay, can go no, to just, yeah, yeah. www.teamsters.org. Okay. <laughs> a lot of people aren't happy with the negotiations, and apparently the negotiators left San Diego thrilled and complete agreement to this contract. A complete agreement? Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. But that doesn't, wait, 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 no, just, that has nothing to do with the guys just, who it's going to affect. These are the guys who are out there that we're paying to negotiate for us. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that. let's let's do an Agni Hotra with that in mind. That that oh, the yes. the right and correct and fair thing for everyone's labor is uh, is achieved. Yes, that would be great. Win-win situation. Something for everyone. Right. So. So what? Spread. Is it time? No. I have the, the timer the thing on, on the phone. Oh. Come on. oh, where's my little fanny thing? Oh, mm -hmm. I got a, I got a, brought a fan you back. You have to share. You're sitting on two of them. No, I was just so excited that I have this new uh, low-tech bellows. Yeah. And So oh. all this nice smoke's blessing your garden. It mm. could have been blessing my deck. <laughs> no, it's going up there. It's going everywhere. The whole neighborhood. And so, she's seeding her new garden, her new lawn. So what? what, what, yeah. what oh, that's right. What, what do you think, it? Robin? Should I should I put a tree so that you don't see the the bed? Sure. I mean, I was. I mean, I'm thinking <laughs> we should put it on this side. Is the problem? Oh, sure. I've got so much room. Well, I know. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> we could. I guess we could put it on my side. Do you think there's like a miniature tree we could put up? <laughs> oh, I could put a miniature tree to well, just, Molly. Well, just one <laughs> that makes it so that you don't see the, the corner of it. a minute. Okay. Here, let me get the last one. Oh, poor oh, there. Oh. Robin. Okay. You want to do it, Robin? Or you want me to do it? Oh, oh she's going to do it. I'll do it. Okay. Agnia Swaha. Agnia Dunamama. 
Prajapataya idam namama See, I got fire there. over here. <laughs> Wait, you just turn the whole thing. Mm. They are mm -hmm. just like getting fire. Hey, we, we had it cranking last night. Did you film it? Uh huh. No, no I should have. We were uh, a little in a panic because uh, I, I thought it was at 6.30 and it was at 6.20. There, I don't have gear on my hand. What is going on? Grab it. It won't go away. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No, the nice thing when you don't have a big flame is you can get right in there and... Hey, hey. Here. <laughs> there we go. Get a little smear door. <laughs> I was telling Robin that it gives benefit to the plants, to the animals, brings harmony everywhere, to the unions, to the negotiations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't end up in the landfill next to Dad. <laughs> That's right. He's, he's in, he's in. Yeah. I don't know much about unions. I just no, know there's, that there should be harmony. A double edged sword, I tell you. The problem is you, you can't live without him. It's, it's hard to live with. Yeah. Too. It's, it's just like the uh, management, they take advantage of the situation. Mm. Uh, so that's why we go back to basics. <laughs> Just getting mellow. Well. You know, if everybody feels better, then they act better. Yeah, but if everyone's getting paid, usually they feel better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if everyone's getting paid a decent wage, usually they feel a lot better. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> I mean, I've worked nine... You're union, right? Yeah, I've worked non-union in the movie business and union, and I'll take union any day. <laughs>